So today's Monday. It's the very last week for my school, Old Dominion. Our finals are over this week. And today at 3.45, I take my last official final um, for my undergrad. So I have one class I'm taking this summer, but summer classes are like, they're over like that. So I almost graduated. Like that's, that's wild. Um, it's been a long road for me. I've been in school for almost six years. Um, I've, I've bounced around a lot of, uh, a lot of different universities with the Coast Guard and, you know, double majors, switching majors. It's, I never thought I'd see this, but here I am. So go me. Um, but anyway, so today is the beginning of my second week of the 531, um, program for, for powerlifting and I'm pretty excited. Just within the first week, my bench and my deadlift have gone up. I haven't um, I haven't assessed my squat yet, but I'm pretty I mean I'm pretty sure it's gone up too. So definitely seeing results with it this week. I don't have the program in front of me. Let's see. This week. Week two, so today today I'm hitting squat. I do, these are my three, so I'm doing three sets of three. The first one's 70%, the next one's 80%, and the next one's 90%. So I'm getting up to 200 today. So, shouldn't be too hard. At only three. Cakewalk. Sort of. So I'm still, I'm still doing my fasting up until noon. Um, got a little bit sidetracked on that. Um, so one thing I kind of wanted to talk about with you guys is I think, and this is obviously self-diagnosed or whatever, but I think that bodybuilding kind of gave me an eating disorder. Um, I, I didn't want to call it anything because I, I thought I was just being fat, you know, with, um, having days where I would wake up and I would just engorge and gorge and gorge and gorge and gorge. I mean, tens of thousands of calories like on YouTube how they have these like oh 10,000 calories I'm like Psh, I did that on a Tuesday like it's not a challenge I can put down 10,000 calories in like two hours like not hard um but anyway so but I stumbled across this girl's uh blog about binge eating disorders they call it bed and I'm like I love beds you know <laughs> it's definitely what I have um, but I just, I don't know, I ran through, you know, a list of some of the things that she dealt with and, and I could relate to a lot of those things. And so over the past probably week and a half, I've kind of gotten away from counting my macros. I tried to just eat normal, you know, as, as, but it, it was hard because in my head, I've been doing the macro thing for so long. I can just look at something and I'm like, I don't know how many macros are in that, you know, so it kind of didn't work, but I'm kind of just quit caring like I mean not caring but I don't know how to describe it I've just come to peace in my head I'm trying not to be like you need to lose weight you need to lose weight you need to be this you need to be that because I don't care I I look good I mean I'm not I'm not fitness model lean like I was but I still have abs I still get hollered at hey you know, so like I, I'm okay with my body. Um, I'm still trying to eat around 1800 calories, but some days I hit 21 and some days I don't. And some days I hit 18 and some days I don't, you know, so I've just come to the term. I've come to terms with just live life. You know, I, um, I've been going to church now for about a month and a half since, since Easter. Um, my boyfriend and I started going back every week and it's really helped, you know, like really getting, you know, faith in my life and, and trying to, I use that a lot of times when, I mean, because the, the, like people who don't have any kind of disorder or it's almost like depression, you can't relate to somebody with depression because you don't know what depression's like. I've had so many people just tell me, just quit eating. And it's not that I'm just, I'm just like eating because I'm bored. It's like this insatiable urge to just eat everything. And I can't, I can't even describe it. So when I would get those urges, it just got to the point to where I would just be like, 
dude. You know, like, just pretty much just praying. Just like, please, please help me. Please help me. I can't do this. I love food. I'm going to be fat. I'm going to weigh going to be 400 pounds one day. And so, been. I guess, you know, leaning on, on prayer and stuff like that a lot has really helped me. Um, it helps me voice it because, not voice it, but it, it just helps me come to terms with it. You know, I was kind of in denial about it, but it's what I have. It's what I have. Bed. I got bed disorder. So, so that's good. So that's what I've been kind of hanging, you know, leaning on to. No, I'm not leaning on to. That's kind of what I've been dealing with over the past few weeks. That's why I haven't been vlogging because... I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing right now, and I don't know, it's just, it's a weird transition, you know, I was warned before I started bodybuilding that, that a lot of times bodybuilding can mess with your head, it messes with your self-efficacy, it messes with your, the way you see yourself, um, you have a distorted body image, I mean, you get all jacked up with bodybuilding, and not everyone's like that, you know, I didn't think I was going to be like that until I went back to normal food, and then I was just like, so, um, but anyways, yeah, so that's kind of what I've been dealing with. Summer's coming. Oh, last thing I want to touch on was, um, motivation. Um, I, I know that, well, actually I didn't know. Um, recently I've had quite a few people kind of coming out of nowhere telling me that they've never talked to me, but they've seen me in the gym or they, they follow me on Facebook or they follow me on Instagram and that I motivate them. Which, you know, that's kind of the whole point. And actually, I started my Facebook page to help some buddies out from home. I um, got tired of typing the same thing 10,000 times, so I just made a page for it. Um, but I, uh, I don't know, it really touched my heart, you know, when people reach out to me and they say these things. Um, I have one friend who, you know, we met, in, I think, like October, and she's lost almost 30 pounds and I haven't even been like coaching her I just she'll just ask me a question and I'll answer it and you know and, and it's really cool to see the results that people are going through and their motivation is me or someone else you know in the fitness industry I don't know it's just a really cool feeling and that I don't know like today motivation Monday what what um I watched a, a video of a guy this morning who had, I think he had like cerebral palsy or something like that, and he pulled a deadlift, and it was just like, man, those are the people that motivate me, but it, I just want you to know that if there's a, if there's ever a time where like today, right when I finish this video, I'm going on a run, I don't want to, but I told like eight people I'm going to start running every day, and I don't know if in the back of their head, they're like, oh, I'm going to run because Jeff on Case going to run. You know, and, and you never know who's watching you, and you never know who is leaning on your actions to push them to do theirs. And I'm not talking about the people, like, who who cares about the haters and the naysayers and the people who are like, oh, I'll do it because so many people want to watch you fail. No, screw them. Do it for the people who want to watch you succeed, and do it for the people who want to succeed because of you. You know, like, pfft, haters are just... I've been dealing with haters since I was a kid. You know what I mean? Like, haters are just, they're going to be there. They're not the important ones. At all. You know what I mean? Um, do it Do it for the, the, I do it for the randos who walk into Nutra Shop. And they're like, oh, hey, I follow you on Instagram. I'm like, cool. You know, like, they say that. But if someone has the, the, the feeling to actually reach out to you and say, like, hey, I follow you. There's a, there's a hidden message behind that. They follow you for a reason. You know, I quit posting all my little stupid slutty fitness pictures. My likes have gone. <laughs> but I don't care. Because I'm, I'm, I'm more, more concerned with inspiring the 35-year-old single mom who just wants to get in shape, you know, and doesn't know where to start. That, I don't care about all the creepy dudes who are like, oh, fitness girls, you know, like, no. Um... Do it for them. So, anyways, I got my owl cup. It has right now. I'm drinking Kroger light apple cider, 10 calories a packet. I got two packets. Mm. It's so good, real talk. Um, but anyway, so that's all I really wanted to say today. Kind of a little quick YouTube video. It's not really like a vlog, but I'm partnering up with my boy Sean. We're gonna start making some workout videos. 
Uh, I think we're going to film our first one tonight after my final. So stand by for those. Um, yeah, so if you like what I'm doing, if you like, you know, kind of my message, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, share me on your Facebook pages, whatever. I'd appreciate it. Let's get the word out there. Hashtag fitness. So anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. And uh, yeah, keep it gangster. Bye.